I have been told I am too much. Well, of course I'm too much for you. You don't have enough space to contain my exuberance. Step aside. I have been called unsightly, unforgiving, obese, careless, muyaye, mulalu, musiru, malaya. What are some of the dangerous labels that people around you assign to you? It's unacceptable. Just because somebody gave birth to you, it does not give them a right to call you a name that is detrimental to your spirit, to your soul, and to your physical well-being. That person shall return to dust. What does God say about you? God says you are loved. God says that he cares for you. Cast your burdens unto him. God says that his ear is not too deaf to hear, nor his hand too short to save. Why don't you trust the definitions to the almighty God? Just because somebody signs your paycheck at the end of the month, they have no right to place a label on you because it significantly hampers your confidence. If every day when you're walking into your place of employment, the label of careless, unworthy, not up to the task sticks on you. No, just because they approve your staff appraisal, they have no right to give you those dangerous labels. They're there to nurture and help you grow and become better employees, better citizens, better teammates. Just because somebody was raised with you in the same house and they think they know you, that does not give them any space. There is no room anywhere in heaven or on earth for them to start scribbling your name as silly, useless, unintelligent, poor, worthless. No, those dangerous labels have no place. How about you? What are the labels that you give yourself when you wake up? Do you say, oh no, I'm late again. Well, tardiness is my middle name. Tardiness is not your middle name. You are fit. You are able to accomplish tasks set before you. You are confident. And even though you may not feel confident today, you may not feel confident in certain mornings, it doesn't change that fact. Go back and look at the fruit of the Holy Spirit. You are filled with self-control. Just because you give in to some of your gluttonous desires, it does not change that. Work towards being the person you're supposed to be. The tongue has the power of life and death. Speak life. You are wealthy. You are successful. And work towards those labels of greatness, those labels of progression every day because that is who you are. You are loved, you are cared for, you are blessed. Have a wonderful Monday morning. God bless you.